morning, William. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, lady. Hey, girl. Aww. Sweet love. Good morning, everyone. We are coming live from the RV park. We have moved into um, a cabin in the RV park for the fall and the winter. And I was just gonna take you along for a cabin day today. Me too. Ooh, that sounds good. First thing I would do is Yeah, we gotta. Ah, so this is a different kind of scenery for the videos. Those of you who have been following a while know that we are like extreme like vehicle dwellers and uh, now we have moved into a cabin. Uh, for also for all of those of you who have been so worried about us for this winter uh, initially we were going to go down south and go to the southwest but um, we were offered this cabin for the winter um, by the owner of the rv park where we're staying so uh, we said yes and after seeing it we're like oh yeah we could do a whole winter here no problem we're probably gonna have to bring in one more heater in here um, there's a little fireplace i'll do a little tour of the cabin later but uh, yeah, so we're gonna just stay here this winter and what's great about that is number one I can go ice skating <laughs> That is the main reason why I want to be here this winter. No, and also we can meet with our contractor and see the land in the winter and just like kind of save money and Yeah, I'm currently looking for some jobs to do this winter uh, So that I can save up some extra money here in town and it'll be great because then we can meet more people and get to know the community better and like hang out in the town that we want to be. We don't really want to be anywhere else right now so it's like exciting. Anyways, currently we're doing dishes. I'll show you around the cabin later but it's a dry cabin other than power. So mm -hmm. it's a it's a non-plumbed cabin so we have to... Creativity. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give you a tour of our little tiny cabin. The owner of the RV park does not want us to cook with one of these inside just to do, just due to fire hazard. Totally understand. So for now, we're gonna be cooking out on here. There's my fishing pole and my fishing gloves. Um, but this is a cute little patio. And then you come inside. Oh, oh. <laughs> hi mom. <laughs> I'm giving everyone a tour of the cabin. So you come inside and here. Hey William. How are you? You see a cute boy and a cute girl. She's under the blanket over there. And you take your shoes off here and you put them here. You got a dehumidifier because it gets very wet in here. Any wet clothes that we bring in, they dry off here and then having one of those is very useful. This is our little hangout, eat and work spot. It's a nice little corner featuring some very cute curtains as you can see like look at these <laughs> they're truly alaskan i love it the black bear the bush plane or sea plane eagles sled dogs yeah anyways this is our little kitchen we have a microwave we're probably not going to use that as much as we think we're probably going to use it we ordered an air fryer and an instapot we have a crock pot that we're gonna use a lot this winter so we don't have to cook outside. This is our little fridge here. Plenty of space for things. Giant cabbage in there. We have the dog food there. And under here we have all of our dishes and stuff stored. There's a little bit of wine left over from the last person who was here. All of our dishes. And right now this is our water system. That we have set up it's just a five gallon with a bucket and we pour the water out um behind the house um that's where the rv park owner said to put it so we do that and we're gonna get a nicer setup here something ceramic or something probably because uh, we want it to look nice there's a little extra storage bin 
And then over here, oh, so over here, this is where the dogs sleep at night. As you can see, they're very cozy. William looks like he needs a blanket on top of him. <laughs> Um, this is where they sleep at night, and what's really nice is when it's really cold, we can have this fake fireplace. Uh, when it gets really cold here, we're going to have to add another heater um, to this room, but it should be fine. They said that someone else has lived here in the winter, and it was fine. Here are all of our books. I recommend every single one on the shelf. We've read pretty much every single one. I've read... I haven't read a couple of them, but most of them I've read and they're really good. I got some stickers over there, one of which is not released yet, but will be released soon. So there's some, st check out my sticker website, plug, plug. And yeah, we currently have all of, <laughs> we currently have food that William could access easily when we're not here under the thing stored up there and the trash can because the dog will rummage through the trash can. Won't you guys? Won't you? <laughs> Anyways, okay, so here is our little ladder to the top. The dogs are unable to access that, so that's why they sleep down here. But I'd say they have the best spot in the house because they get the fireplace. Ah, this is my favorite. It's like, this is the best because it feels like you're in a tree house, exactly what we will be building next year. So it's kind of fun. This is my little area over here. Um, oh, here's another really good book, Country Living. Been reading through that, trying to get all the information I can about country living. <laughs> and there's my big camera and my switch and it's a nice little cozy area. Have my sweater stored there and more of my like shirts and underwear and things here and extra blankets and my dirty clothes there. Put my yoga mat down to stretch and I wanna meditate, but you know how life goes. And then, oh, my mom's side is so cute. Let me turn the light on. Look at her little side here. This is the treehouse book that we've been reading to begin our research on building treehouses. Look at her little bedside. It's so cute. And we got a little happy light there. But that's pretty much up it for up here. This is the view looking down. Another dehumidifier, which I need to turn on. And then, yeah, I'll show you the little outside area. It's super cute. Going down the ladder. Ooh, I gotta turn this heater off. It is definitely not time for that. All right, and then there's a the little outdoor area, which is like the coolest little bonus ever. As you can see, it's screened in and covered for the rain and bugs. Just this little area you can sit, eat, work. Have my rug drying there, wash the vat, and. I have this set up here. I need to find the actual 120 volt plug for it, but this is set up as a little freezer for us so we can have frozen food. Right now, we only have some shrimp we bought uh, fresh from this area, from the seafood place. We're making shrimp tacos for our neighbors this weekend. It's gonna be great. And this is our bathroom for the fall winter uh, basically it's we get our own key and everything so that we can leave our stuff in here and there's a shower here you do have to pay for the shower so you can't really shower every single day but uh, I've been showering like once a week but that's like pretty good for me and yeah there's a little toilet we added a little basket there our stuff's here uh, my only concern is that when it's really cold, if there's a blizzard or something, I don't even know if there are blizzards here. That just shows how much knowledge I have about the snowy season here, which is only January, January and February. Um, yeah, I don't know. So we're going to probably bring in one of our composting toilets that we have and put it like on the outside area that you guys saw and have a way to go to the bathroom for when it's rainy and stuff. Yeah. 
so yeah, that's the two. We're, we're really happy with it. We're only paying $500 a month to stay here with the dogs. Um, normally it would be 400, but because we have dogs, they're charging us an extra hundred, totally fine. Um, so my mom and I are splitting it and, um, it's going to be really affordable for us and really like allow us to save some money while be com being comfortable here and like getting a lot of work done. Um, we pay $50 for, uh, internet each month um that's 100 gigabytes and then like heavy uploads and things like that like videos and podcast episodes for my patreon um yeah i go into town we have the library here which is like super cozy and nice and yeah so we're able to get work done here we're able to cook and we'll be figuring out a solution for when it gets colder for a bathroom and yeah as well as figuring out uh yeah an indoor indoor cooking solutions and more heating but we're both so happy with this. Like, this is, it's just amazing, like, how the universe, whatever you believe in, energy in whatever way you believe it, like, if you just, like, follow the breadcrumbs and put out your energy for what you need, then you'll find it. This was offered to us. We didn't even, like, look for it. We, well, we were, we put out the energy. We were like, yeah, we would really love to find a place to stay this winter so we can stay here. Um, but then this happened to be available. It's a perfect kind of accommodation for us because we are, um, we rough it, as you know, and we're used to this. And this is going to be the lifestyle we live on the land anyways, next summer, next winter. So it's kind of just like a savior for us because it's like also really great to have the support of the people here and the support of a nice, like a pretty nice place to live to be able to get used to Alaskan winters and just learn more about this area because yeah as many people have let me know alaskan winters are brutal and we need to be prepared so we're working on it and yeah as far as like vehicle stuff when i get a job i'm gonna need to get some new tires and yeah i'll be going to work um probably starting doing like part-time stuff and then eventually moving on to a full-time role is the plan i'm hoping I'm really just looking for a job right now that can give me a shit ton of benefits and also help me save money um, for the land, you know? When you want something in life, you have to work hard for it and you have to be planful. And this is something that I learned when I built out my first van. I had to save and get a job and do all of that to get what I want. So yeah, nothing that I think that is a misconception a lot. Like people, I feel have felt that like some of the things that I've done have been handed to me but everything that I've ever done I've paid for myself and have um yeah researched myself and done myself so if you're out there thinking like I could never do that like I don't know how to do that like I was 20 when I started living alternatively and yeah you just have to work hard that's all I don't know why I went on this little rant, but yeah, thanks for watching my cabin tour. Um, this was built by the owner of this place um, with his own two hands, and I think it's really amazing. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be picking his brain more about building stuff because I could get all the help I could get. Woohoo! A nice, clean, all our dishes done. We didn't have our little water situation set up so for the past few days, so the dishes, so the dishes were piling up and... Yeah, now we can cook some breakfast. Honestly, it's been super nice to just like have the space to spread out and for the dogs to spread out. It just is so rainy here in the fall and then the winter, so. Hello. Hi. So you kind of have to choose a different way of living and yeah, living in the vehicles is fine when it's dry, but when it's as wet as it is up here, you have to make some adjustments. We used only one bucket they're like our wastewater was just like three fourths of that bucket. <laughs> we know how to conserve. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Even though we have unlimited water here, which is strange for us. <laughs> it's pancake making time in the cabin. We got our bowl. We need a bunch of oats in this. I love oats in my pancakes. I'm a full blown non vegan. These days. Uh, what else do you need? Pancakes. I have no idea. Better go ask my mom. And we also have some red huckleberries that we haven't processed yet that we picked off of the property. 
And we're gonna make some sort of red huckleberry syrup jam type thing. Um, that's gonna be awesome. They need to be used, so we really desperately need to cook those down. All right, round two. Turns out I was using masa, maseka, masa instead of flour because none of the jars were labeled and I just thought it was flour. Do never assume something is flour, is what I learned from that. <laughs> Lady is being very demanding at the moment. We're gonna go. Oof. She's like, we better go on a walk now. Boof. Boof. Tell me you have impatient dogs without telling me you have impatient dogs. Give us a second. We're working. We're about to go, okay? Just give us two minutes. <laughs> Oh, my stomach is cramping. Oh, feel it in my side. <laughs> Taking a nitty bitty walk down this road. Do now go down that road and never come back road. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The bear's might road. <laughs> the bear's might get you road. <laughs> so, we're really excited about being able to stay here this winter. I'm really excited. That was initially the plan, but then when I couldn't figure out where we were gonna stay this winter, I was like, well, our only option at this point is to leave and go south, which most people do if you live in vehicles up here. Um, but that was gonna cost so much money. And like our real goal in life right now is to develop our land and have a nice spot there. So it would feel kind of counterintuitive to leave. So. It just seems like the universe makes things work out sometimes and it, well, what's funny though is we booked the tickets to leave and then that afternoon um, we were notified that we were able to stay in the cabin so it's kind of like well oh well at least they have a cancel good cancellation policy but oh, i'm just so relieved to be able to stay here a puddle <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, good old mud. Oh, oh. This is a good little trail that nobody knows about. All people know about it, but it's not marked on the map. I fished here once. Watch out, William. Let's see if there's anything in the water. This is as high as yeah. Look at those, those are cool. <laughs> Mom, are you? Ah, I'm over here. <laughs> Boom. Might or not, might not be getting cabin fever. I've been working on stuff all day. It's been like pretty much playing catch up, like trying to get things done and videos out and applying for jobs and whew, it's a lot, but I'm so grateful for the space right now. It's really helping uh, my productivity levels. So yeah, we have brought in an old crock pot that we brought up with all of the stuff we have in storage and we're making some barbecue chickpeas. Should be good, it smells good. And our favorite thing uh, to make so far this winter, I mean, I guess it's not winter yet, but this <laughs> colder season is Thai tea. Ooh. How is it? It's all foggy. We love Thai tea. It's our new favorite drink. Da -da -da. Good night, everybody. 
We did our night routine. I brushed my teeth and washed my face. Took Wilpy out and we took Lady out, who's currently under a blanket next to the faux fire, as always. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of cabin content here. Um, and I'm also going to start posting more exclusive content on Patreon, just like stuff that I didn't feel like went well with each week's video. Today's video is just like a cabin video, but I'm planning on getting back on track and doing like weekly videos and then like videos of the whole week and then what we do during the week and then whatever content I don't feel fits or if it makes it too long of a video for YouTube, I'm gonna cut those videos into smaller videos. Um, so if you want extra content that isn't necessarily like super interesting or I didn't feel like was cohesive with the video, then you can go over there and everybody will get that video no matter what tier you're in. And yeah, so there's gonna be some cool, exciting stuff on Patreon coming up here in the next seasons here, fall and winter. Um, I really wanna expand it and design more stickers and I have some merch coming out and stuff for the people who are in the tiers where they get merch. Um, it's been our process with this last design, just finding the right suppliers, it's like definitely late but i've learned a lot about designing merch and getting it out to people so look out for that there's probably going to be a merch drop probably this winter before the holidays because um i want y'all to be super cozy this fall and winter so i have some cool stuff that i'm working on and yeah i hope you enjoyed our little beginnings of our cabin adventure this fall and winter I'm really excited. I feel like I'm gonna be able to be a lot more productive um, living here and yeah, and it'll be cool to like spend this time also learning more about construction and building our treehouse design and design learning more about homesteading and all of the things that we need to know to be successful over on our property next summer or next spring. So say good night, mom. Good night. Mom. <laughs> Good night, mom. <laughs> so, anyways, thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Right, bye.